Hi there, it's Andrea. I hope you're all okay. So this is my super easy, suitable for gel polish qualified, gel qualified, acrylic qualified nail art. And it's something a little bit different. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to put some tips on some stands and I am using my cart gel polishes today. So what I'm going to use is um, Sky Blue. This is out of the classic collection and also the green. And we're going to make a horizon with that. I do like horizons. So we're just going to pop that into the lamp and then we're going to go with that green on each of the other nails. Okay, so we'll get that on now. How's everyone doing? Can you believe it's an Easter, a week to Easter? Madness, madness. So yeah, just popping all this green on now onto these other nails. I did stop and then think I'll do them blue and then I went, no, I'm just gonna carry on and do them green. So we'll pop all those on and then those go into the lamp. And then we're gonna get our, out our horizon and do a second coat on it. So this doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be using the green grass glitter by um, Scarlet Center as a base glitter. So that's going back into the lamp and then we're going in with our second coat on all those other nails. Okay, so if you head over to Scarlet Center, um, you can use my discount code, it's Andrea10. Um, at www.scarletcentre.co.uk so you can see I'm just deciding to make that a bit more opaque so I put another coat on and then we I'm just going to faff now there's uh, green grass which is beautiful beautiful I, I just love that colour I really really do so I'm using my car um, base coat there and I'm just going over the top of each one of those. Sorry, I've gone slightly out of shot. I do move. Um, and we're just going to now use a fan brush to scatter that glitter into that base coat. Okay, because I didn't want a full encapsulated effect. I just wanted it to skitter, skitter, scatter <laughs> all over the nails. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I just give it another go over the pot. Try and do it over the pot because otherwise it's just wasting it like that. <laughs> so I've done the same on the horizon. And you can see I'm just blending that up a little bit. And then I'm using my Scarlet Center Slay brush um, to go in and be a bit more crisp with things. So there we go. And now what I'm doing is I'm actually putting some green tinsel in. So all the um, products that I use will be listed in the description box below. So that's green tinsel going on there. Just to you know, give it that effect of grass. Do you know what I mean? So that's our second layer of glitter that we're building up there. And what I'm trying to do is make the ones at the top actually stand up a bit more straight. I know that grass isn't uniform, but it does tend to like bow different ways upwards, doesn't it? So that's going there. There we go. Like I say, I'm just pushing any glitter that's come out of there back in and pushing it off at the top. Okay, so there you go, you can see that now. So that's the effect that we're going for in the background of that one. And now we're going to use Angel's Breath from the Divine Collection by Scarlet Centre. There we go. Beautiful. It's one of my favourites. And that is going into the sky. So we'll pop that into the sky. It's a flake, this as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Just popping it down as flat as possible. Um, we are going to base coat and everything over the top. So here you can see we're actually base coating again over the other nails. And what we're going to do is do the same with those um, tins, the green tinsel, and do it as a grass background. So that's now going to go in there on each nail. There you go. So popping it in. This doesn't have to be any which way um, because it's more that I'm looking down on the grass and it's not a horizon grass where it's going to be stood up, if you know what I mean. It's like you're looking at the floor. That's how it was in my head anyway. Sorry, just went for a cough. Um, right, so yeah, just keeping to put putting that down into that base coat. The base coat will set it. 
so like i say you can you don't have to be acrylic or gel trained to do this set it's for anyone um as long as you've got a gel polish qualification and um, obviously a manicure and that um so yeah just pushing that in pulling it round so yeah, these are, I think these are really cute, you know, especially with the background with the green grass glitter in and then with these shards on the top, it does give it like a multi depth kind of appearance, um, which I really, really like. Um, so yeah, so they're going to go in the lamp and then we're going to get out our other, other nail, our feature nail, and we're just going to base coat this giving it a good base coating because we do need to sand this before we do anything else so that's going into the lamp to be cured and then we're doing the same on all the other nails so they're all getting a good base coat using my cart base coat in we go I do like using my cart and press on sets and, and stuff like that because it is so affordable and it is a very good pigmented gel polish some people um, say, oh no, you, could, you should use this gel polish. You know, use what you can afford, in my opinion. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting some uh, decals. Those are from Charlie's. And I'm popping those into the um, water. Because these are water slide, uh, slide decals. So we're going to do a bit of funkiness with this. Um, you have to excuse me trackies that I've just put on because it was rather chilly last night. So yeah, I have sanded that nail as well. So just to make you aware, I've taken the sanding out because it's boring. I find sanding so boring. Um, but it has been filed and sanded and buffed. So yeah, I'm just working now with those water decals and we're putting a little chick, which is super cute, um, into that landscape and some tulips and some um, greenery just at the side of him as well. go so what we're going to do now is base coat again because we don't want any lips um, or uh, you know snaggly bits coming up off the sides of that water decal okay and then we are going to do the same here so this has been filed and buffed again and I'm actually popping in Easter eggs and flowers on this one so I'm just popping those in like that these were the wrong tweezers to use to be fair because they were just a nightmare <laughs> I, was, I just didn't have my other ones to hand so yeah oh it's so cold here today it's like poor oh, I'm gonna have to put my fan heater on I think so yep just putting those in alternately so like egg flour egg or flour flour egg that heater on because it is rather cold um yeah so that's what i'm doing there and it looks really cute you can't really see it's, it's the end effect because you know obviously everything's got to come together so but i really like this this set i thought it was really cute so there we go I'm trying to fish out that last one that i want and then I give up with it. I'm like, oh, no. Yeah, I'm sorry I've not got a glove on my other hand, but I actually forgot. <laughs> right, so now I'm going in with base coat over the top like we did for that other feature nail. So just base coat in, want that smoothness, want those locked in. Um, so that's what's going on there. And then those will go into the lamp. So let's have a look now. So now we've got our little chick out again. And we're just um, actually now going over with a top coat, I think. I think it's top coat because I wanted to show you what it looked like with a top coat on. So there you go. Now, hang on. Yeah, that's me showing you with um, a top coat. No, it's not, it's a base coat. It's a base coat, and what I decided to do is then go in and do a sun. I don't know why, I just thought there was something missing. So I went in and did a sun. So there we go. And then in that sun, I used fairy wings from the new Enchanted Collection by Scarlet Centre, just to give that sun a bit of sparkle. You know? 
So just brought that round in the corner, super cute because I decided to do that because I decided that I can't just leave that chick alone. I just can't do it. And then I thought, do you know what would be really cool? That would be really cool. So yeah, you'll see in a minute. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my sleigh brush and I am gonna pick up a little bit of base coat and pop that onto that sun. And then I am going to bob some um, of the fairy wings in there just to give that a bit of a yellow sparkle. Again, this is a flake, so it lies super flat. Um, yeah, just, just a little bit of something, something. So this is like kind of more, it's like glitter based artwork, um, but I really, I love using glitter. I use glitter every day, I can't help myself. Right, so now we're going in with our matte top coat and I like to wipe off the sticky layer from the base coat. Um, when I matte top coat, it's just something that I do um, because I find that it doesn't then um, kind of corrupt my um, matte top coat, um, depending on the sticky layer that you get within um, your base coat you then pop your brush back into your bottle and it's a nightmare um, so I'm going in there and doing that getting all of those nice and matte because I want this to be a matte set that's how I chose kind of to do it I do like a matte set and I like a matte set with artwork so there we go we're going to put all those in the lamp in a sec when i've give that another going over so this is all mccart polishes um do you have a discount code for mccart it's um andrea 15. so now we're back with our little friendy friend here and what we are going to do is paint him some sunglasses on now you'll have to excuse my excuse my huge extreme nail and my horrible fingers there but you know needs must and it just happened. So you can see I'm just putting two little dots onto his eyes. You can't see now because of that massive nail. <laughs> and then I'm actually joining them together in the middle. So there's his little, his little sunglasses because the sun's shining, he's outside. And then I'm putting the handles in an upwards direction not the handles, the, what do you call them? I don't even know what you call those, the side pieces of your sunglasses. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to um, base coat that middle nail. Okay, remember when we've been doing base coating, we have been filing back as well, buffing back. So it's not at making that nail over thick. Um, so that is now, going to go into the lamp because it's been base coated. I do faff, don't I? I'm like, no, I've got to go over it once more, at least once more, and in the opposite direction. So there you go. So that now is going to pop into the lamp. And then now what we're going to do is we are going to matte top coat this one again. So matte top coat on there we go. Absolutely gorgeous. I've not done any crystal placement today. <laughs> and normally I do. I love doing crystal placement, but I just thought that I love this set the way it is. So there we go. Right, so now here's the full finished set. So you've got your little super cool chick who's in the sunshine on the middle nail, and then you've got your Easter egg hunt grass nails as well. And that has all been matte top coated and I just think that the glitters in the background, uh, the tinsel, everything kind of sets it off and it looks cute. I love it. I hope that you like it too as well. If you haven't already, if you like this set, please subscribe and like my channel. Um, I try and upload at least once a week. Um, and yeah, head over to Scarlet Centre and uh, get yourself some fantastic glitters and brushes. Okay, thanks a lot for watching guys. Bye.